Anyways, hey guys, this is Vaughn, and welcome back to another episode on the Pixel League server. Ah, the sun is rising, it's a beautiful day! Today, today I think it's going to be a pretty laid back day. I thought maybe we... Ooh, that, that guy just despawned in front of my face. I thought for a little bit that we might work on the new sauna, but I just, I'm not... I started the new, um... Hello, guy. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> You're still in underground somewhere. Uh, I started the new Life in the Woods modded series, which is a lot of a lot of fun, uh, and it, it has eaten up my day. And so I, I spent all day on there, kind of building and, and derping around. So I'm not really in the mood for building on this series right now. That series has so many cool like blocks and stuff. Like you can make like actual tables and chairs and like little dressers and all sorts of like. <laughs> It's really fun. So, uh, like, building on there is so cool because there's just all these blocks that, like, don't exist in regular Minecraft. And so I'm super excited to be able to play with all of them. And it, it makes coming back in here being like, I wish I had X, Y, or Z blocks. So I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna work on that today. Um, what is our team looking like right now? We got a kind of weird team. Let's switch out. Let's bring Umbreon back. So I'm starting to think that Umbreon does not have, like, there just aren't any good dark moves or something. Uh, somebody suggested I put Dark Pulse on him, and that is apparently not a TM. Or at least if it is, I couldn't find it. Like, I don't have it, and I couldn't find it on the wiki. Like, it didn't say that it exists, so it just might not be in the game. Um, so I'm thinking that maybe we could also start working on leveling up another Umbreon? Because we do have uh, several Eevee that are unleveled, and I feel like maybe he, maybe I made him forget some moves that he should have gotten. Like, uh, if we, apparently he's a tank, so apparently maybe we should do a new one. These are all pretty low leveled, pretty low leveled guys, except for the one that I had Done. I should probably just delete that one that I started leveling that that way I don't EV train the wrong guy. It's this guy, I think. Because he's level 23. Um, so, I don't know. If you think that's a good idea, we could do that some episode. We can level up. We can EV train him, even. We can EV train a Pokemon. In fact, let's see. Let's put... Oh, man. I hate the way that it goes back all the time. Let's put him up here because this is the level 23 one, right? All right. But his nature is hardy. He has been used in battle before, so we don't want to EV train with him. This one is level 13, careful nature. This one is level 12, lax nature. This one is 12, lonely. And 11, timid. Alright, so which of those four should I EV train as a new Umbreon? Uh, and if I do EV train him... What would I? What should I EV train him as? And then also, uh, what dark move should I have him learn and keep if we do that? That seems like a good idea to me, but uh, well, if we're going to do that, then I don't need to keep this Umbreon on me. I guess we'll keep Pidgeot on us. I like Pidgeot. Uh, right, then maybe I should use Archaeops. We did, Ar we did EV train Archaeops, so maybe we're getting him. What level is he? she level 48 let's let's take archaeops because i would like to get her a little higher level i don't Ar archaeops doesn't have a name does she i like to name my pokemon and archaeops doesn't have one rainbow rainbow kick butt girl hmm rainbow bright <laughs> anyway what i was thinking is uh, you'll notice in my inventory i've got the pokedex and i haven't looked at this in a really long time so i thought it might be fun to look at it and see how many pokemon i have I have a lot of them. I'm still missing a lot, but I have a lot. Part of the reason why my lists are so random and, and missing is because I've largely only been catching... I've largely only been catching Pygmy Pokemon. Actually, you know what we should do? Um, kind of... I've got that Rog and Rolla guy, and he's so tiny. I kind of want to level him up, so maybe we'll do that. And I also want to kind of do some exploring this guy. Who do we, what is, what type is he? He is a normal type. 
Do I even have a normal type? I don't... He has tackle. Um, let's... Let's switch out... Someone. Let's switch out... Mmm... Titan. Why? Uh, why not? Let's switch Titan out. Let's put the Rog and Rolla on. And let's... Let's level him. I still don't have my EV shares back from MC. I'm gonna have to launch a, a fight or something. Let's put this on him. And let's do that. Uh, I thought we would just kind of derp around. I want to catch... I want to catch more Pokemon. If we see any more EVs that I don't have, I want to catch Pokemon EVs. Uh, let's... Well, I mean, I guess if we're going to level him, we could just start with this... Nido. This Well, level 3 Nido Reno. I'm sorry. You can live. Uh, and then I also wanted to... Since I had pretty good success with the Articuno last episode... Uh, I wanted to see if we could find the Zapdos area. I got it right. I think that's how you actually say it. So, um, I asked in the Skype chat yesterday if anybody knew where uh, the the snow one was. And nobody knew where it was, so I had to find it on my own. But MK the Worst said she knew where... She, well, she didn't have the exact coordinates for it, but she said mm. that... Hello. She said that the... Meow. Zapdos one is near Meow. Whipper's house. I don't exactly remember where Whipper's house is. I'm trying to think. I know where M... I think I know where Terrace is house. Uh, but anyway, I think I kind of know where that is. What level are you? Oh, hello, Pulse. We will dig you. Dig in your face. <laughs> ah, lovely. Fantastic. Oh, log and roll, log and roll, uh, I don't know if you're going to have a butt. I don't know if you're going to have a three, level four, level five, level six, level seven, level eight, level nine, level ten. Wow. Eleven, twelve. Why are you leveling so much? Wasn't that... I didn't realize that guy was that high of a level. Dodorio. Dodrio. Um... Yeah, I sent him out. I don't know... Let's... Let's not... Fight. No, wait, let's switch to Pokemon. Let's just go to IO because IO is awesome. I love the fact that all of my EVs are getting really high level. I don't love the fact that Umbreon is going to be Rock Blast. That Umbreon, I'm going to have to start over from 13 or something. The user hurls rocks at the target. Two to five rocks are launched in a quick succession. This is the part that I hate because I'm going to forget the wrong moves and you guys are going to get so mad at me. Mud Slap. The user hurls mud in the target's face to inflict damage and lower its accuracy. I don't think we want that. I tend to not... I mean, maybe it's the wrong thing, but I tend to not do, like, the... The, uh... Stat raising and lowering. Are these all the same old signs? This way to Pokemon Daycare. Yeah. What does this one say? Seriously good prices. Turn around and go to Pokemon Daycare. I think these are all Pokemon Daycare ones. Turn around, you miss Pokemon Daycare. Welcome to the Island of the Stinky Boys. Hello, Nidorino. I'm going to Flare Blitz you. Um, so, yeah. Uh, I, this is what I hate. I don't know which one. These are hardened body service like iron. Okay, see, I'm going to just... I know a lot of those are good, but even if I keep them, like, because you guys are like, oh my god, get those things, because they're so amazing. Even when I do that, I forget to, do, I forget to use them in battle because they don't do any damage, and so my brain just doesn't work that way. The Jaren's place is starting to come along. It's like he's got a parking garage down here, and then, like, all the nice stuff up there. Ooh, let's see if we can get up there. We've got our Archaeops. We can fly. And I'm trying to remember. I think... I think that Whipper's house is near the old Extreme Hills biome that, like, we all started out at. This is, this is a place. I'm not going to be able to land on it, because I cannot fly on this dang server. I don't know how anybody controls these things. Like on, when I watch Beef fly on his bird, he has like, even though he's like angry about it, like he has so much better control over his bird, his crappy little Firo, than I have over my Archaeops. Like I just, I can't do it. I can't control them. I don't know why. Okay. Okay. See, why does he suddenly turn? I, I'm not directing him. My finger is only on the forward button, and yet. Okay, I'm turning, I'm turning. Okay, too too much, too much, too much. Go back, go back, go back, go back. Okay, this is, this is fine. This is fine. And I go into F5 mode because it tends to, like, be a little easier to, to do. 
to like control a little bit maybe not really here we are hello the jaren's house i think this is the jaren's house it seems like the jaren something the jaren would do little platform here yeah you got a good view of everything what you got whoa oh you got a lot of stuff man this is so messy you're organizing your stuff man what a slob you got a tm up here you got this over here you got tm there this is food this is like a boss drop you got a random master ball or a random heal ball this is food oh my god iron wood this is a pokey drop this is a plant this plant this is a block this is a drop glowstone dust my goodness look at what a mess what a mess i can't even you have like one random block of wood oh my goodness this 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 the jaren's gonna get on he's gonna be like what happened to this chest he probably won't even notice when you have such a messy chest like this you won't even notice when somebody else is messing around with it because it's so messy let's see we've got all the wood blocks over there Iron and diamond should be together over there. Bucket of water. These are all boss or like drops. Man, buttons. Look at all this crap you've got. This should be up here with that. This can go over there. These are kind of more similar. That is a plant. Wood. Wood. Wood, wood, wood. Dirt. Glass and sand makes sense. Here's a Pokeball. Okay, that looks better, right? Oh, wait, this thing. Should go over there. That looks a little bit better. He might be able to, like... You got two buckets of water. Lovely. Two buckets of water. Okay. It's a little bit better. These buckets of water are kind of dumb, but whatever. Oh! <laughs> it got dark while we were doing that. Oops! Anyway, I'm going to find Whipper's house off camera, hopefully, and bring you guys back. Ooh, a boss! I will take it. I will take it and... Ro I don't really want Archeops to get it. I want Rog and Roller to get it. Man, Litwick. Come on, Litwick. Stop running. Just aggro me, bro. Come on. Stop it. There we go. Fantastic. And now we're going to switch out to IO, I guess. Leon! Well, probably shouldn't have. I should have gone to, what, Enceladus, Leon! right? Because, well, I guess it. I don't know. We're going to find out. Uh, Litwick is fire and, and Io is fire, so this was probably not the smartest move. Uh, let's switch to Enceladus. But hey, Io will get some XP points. That's good for him. Fight. Let's rain dance and then let's scald. I think that sounds like a plan, don't you think so? Suck it, Litwick! Ha 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 Oh man, now I'm gonna get some more, some more moves that I don't know what to do with. The user throws a stone or projectile to an attack an opponent. A flying Pokemon will fall to the ground when it's hit. I don't really want that. The user throws a stone or projectile to attack an opponent. No, I guess that's probably still better than some of this other crap that I've got, like Harden. Right? Right? Harden, the user... Yeah. It's a bit of a... I never use this. Whoa! Wow! 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 Flash Cannon, Thunderbolt, Everstone, a Master Ball, a Dive Ball, a Sunstone, and a Lepaberry. And look at this lady and really Leon! wants to fight me. <laughs> Alright, alright, I will kill you if you insist. Wow. Oh, Rock and Roll is level 24 now. Wow, what a great... That makes up pretty much for all of the crappy boss drops that I've gotten recently. What is that? Oh, I saw that. It's a Poke... It's a Pikachu that was like perfectly lined up. With the ghastly and it hit the way that the eyes, it looked like they were like wings on top of the Pikachu or something. Yes. Didn't get very far. Flareon. Oh, hello Pikachu. I'm sorry, you guys. This is gonna yes. be like, a... oh, he's leveling up already. Great, fantastic. I don't have to worry about you guys not coming back for that. Look at how tiny he is. He is yes. the idiotiest of the bidiests. He's so tiny. I ha I mean, I know. I think the next level is like the Bulldor. But I don't know what the level after that is. Are you the tiniest little Bulldor? Look at how tiny. <laughs> He's so cute. Ooh, power gem. The user attacks with a ray of light that sparkles as if it was made of gemstones. Power gem. That sounds pretty cool. Headbutt, rock blast, smackdown, and tackle. This sounds better than tackle, right? 
Let's do that. Now, are you still a, a normal type? Um, stats. Moves. Nah, you're rock now. Okay, cool. Cool. Okay, uh, I'm going to continue on my way. Uh, of course, bringing you guys back if I find any bosses. Well, that just happened. Um, can we possibly get a Mew? Is that a... a C I feel like when that many of them spawn all at once, I should be able to find one. Come on, Mew. That would be really cool. I could forget all about trying to find old Whipper. Come on, Muse. How many just spawned? Like a ton of them. Like I just flew straight up. Well, I didn't really fly straight up. I was flying, trying to figure out where Whipper lives, and that happened. I, I was like, ooh, one spawned, and then, like, a bunch more spawned. So, <laughs> come on, it, like 20 of them spawn. Dang, mankeys. I'm listening. I'm listening. No. Come on, Mew. Come on. How cool would it be if it spawned, like, right in this base where they caught the other Mew? If you watch MC Gamer's, like, video... <laughs> it's not in here, though. That would be so epic, though. This is a nice little build. Ow! It's so hard to find anything in the jungle. It's like just so many vines. I just want to burn it to the ground! Is that a Mew? Is that a Mew? Are you a Mew? <gasps> no? Yes? No, that's an Amolga. Ah! Oh, dang it! Thought for sure I'd finally found one. Come on, Mew. Where are you? How could that many spawn and I not find one? It just seems cruel and unusual, doesn't it? I felt like for sure today was the day. I don't even hear one to, like, hunt it down. I wonder what the spawning radius is on these things. Like, if I... I'm at a certain area, like, if I was basically on that platform when they spawned, like, how f how far away from me can they spawn? It seems like they have to be at least within the chunk, right? So they can't be, like, that far away. But I don't know if they spawn, like, in the grass, in the sky, like, on top of the trees or under the trees. If they're under the trees, then no wonder I can't find them. If they're up here that I'm looking in the wrong spot, you know? Man. Hmm. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm on the hunt now. I want a freaking Mew! They're probably already despawned by now. Or or if I do see one, it'll it'll despawn. Oh, there's a weeping, weeping bell. bell. It'll despawn probably. Wait, what was that? Oh, hello, Weeping Bell. I don't want weeping you. Bell. Poor Io needs to be healed. Oh, Bulldor's grown. Oh, it's... In Mono Inferno. Mon Inferno. Oh, hello, Monferno. Inferno. I didn't mean Flareon. didn't mean for you to be aggroed. I am sure that the dang thing is already gone. Oh, I don't know why I used Rain Dance. That was he's level fifteen. That was not really necessary. Do you think we should try flying up again? I mean, we got like seven of them to spawn that one time. Let's try. Let's try, right? You know, what have we got to lose? Either they spawn and we get lucky and we find one, or they don't spawn and nothing is, nothing is lost, right? So we're really close to that platform. Let's rotate just a tiny bit. Let's go over here. Come on. Spawn, guys. Come on, spawn. Make a daddy proud. Make a daddy proud. I'm going down now. Oh, there they go. There's one. There's one. Have it spawned right in front of me. Come on. Come on, Mew. Papa needs a new pair of shoes. Is that it? I 
I don't really know what they look like either. Like, I kind of know. You guys are going to probably, like, freeze frame right now and look and, and see them all. Scyther. It's an oddish. So there's Scyther. I would not mind getting a pygmy Scyther, but it... What are, you, what are you? What are you? Oh no! What are? Are you a boss? What are you? I've never. Seen, oh, that's a, like a. Are you like a pygmy gloom? I'm gonna grab this. Oh, that Pokemon is already in a battle. Crap! You're, you're probably gonna die. Well, I heard something that sounded kind of like a Mew. Oh my God! So many Pokemon right now. I don't know. Like, I'm, I'm quiet because I'm listening. This gloom is not in having a good day. <gasps> there he is! There he is! Right there! Grab him! Grab him! Get him! Come on! <gasps> oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Okay, and we just got a Pokeball! So we do not even have to... I'm like... Huh? He's only level 50! Oh, we finally got him! I'm so happy. I'm so happy. You guys, we got a Mew! I can't believe it. 20 of them spawned, and we finally got one. Man, that took forever! Oh, hello, Arbok. You wanna die? I'm so happy right now. I don't even wanna kill you. Okay, now Mew went back to my... Oh, Boulder grew up to level 27. Congratulations, Boulder. Oh man, look at all these guys. Hey, this gloom is still alive. Is this a pygmy? That looks like a pygmy oddish, too. They're, they're in a fight. They're so tiny. Wait, wait, wait. Let me give you guys some light. Oh, we got a Mew, you guys! We got a Mew. We got a Mew. Wow. That is awesome. I don't know that we have enough time this episode to, to bring him back. <laughs> but next episode, for sure, is the day that we're gonna do it. Do you think these are both pygmy? They look pretty pygmy. Whoever wins, it makes me really sad that, like, one of them is gonna die. Still in a battle. Stop it! I'm, I don't want you guys to suffocate. Oops. Took out the torch. Come on! They are not going anywhere, are they? Neither of their healths are moving at all. Fine. I'm not gonna catch you. I don't even care. I wanted to get some, po some pygmies. I wanted to expand my... Pokédex. Well, I guess I did technically. We did catch someone. So, um, hmm. Let's get back home and look at him at the computer. Home safe and sound. Let's make sure that he's in the computer. There he is. There he is. Let's put him on the page with the legendaries. Stats. Mew. Ooh, a huge one. Look at all these amazing stats. Wow. Psychic. Metronome, transform, reflect, type, and transform. Neat and docile nature. Okay, so tell me what to do with this guy. Let's put him. Uh, let's put Archaeops away. Let's grab Mew. Now, I know that you can make a Mew too. The model for him is not as nice as it could be. If, wait, wait, wait. What did I just do? There. Let's do it this way so we can see him a little bit better. He can fly. It's like, how do you fly? How does that even work? <laughs> Hi, guy! Yay! I'm so happy! And unexpected, expected joys. You know, people complain that they don't know what to do when they get on the server anymore. Like, they just feel like there's nothing to do. And I kind of felt like that today when I got on. I was like, Gosh, I don't know what to do. And so I just wandered around and I found an amazing boss that dropped like more stuff in one drop, including a Master Ball, than I think I've ever seen. And then like 20 minutes later, we caught a Mew with the Master Ball that we just got dropped. I mean, that's amazing. That is so amazing. So I know that there is a Mew tank that... I guess we put the Mew into, I don't know, and it'll turn into a Mewtwo. 
So I know we can do that. Is there any reason why I wouldn't want to do that? Is there any reason why I would want to keep it as a Mew? I, this is how much I don't know anything about Pokemon. So uh, maybe we'll do that. And maybe we'll put it in one of these rooms. That would be kind of cool, actually, huh? Like, what if we, we set this room up as like a laboratory or something? It's a little bit dark in here. Hmm. Yeah, I kind of like the idea of a laboratory. Should it be the center room? Should this be like my, my laboratory? Or should it be off? the side of one room I kind of like it here I think it's a little bit open and weird I could put up a wall no no I think we're just gonna make this into like a little laboratory right here and maybe put a ceiling on this thing <laughs> it's a bit weird oh I got a Mew I got a Mew I am pretty happy let's see if we can get our screen well I know you guys are gonna get mad at me because I have the Mew in the in the thumbnail but whatever how can you get mad at me it's a freaking adorable Mew and now that I hear that voice, I know that I've heard that noise before when I've been out in the jungle looking for him, and I just couldn't find him. Which probably means that I was only a few feet away from one and missed him. But yay, I got one! Yay! Yay. Now, even though he's level 50, could we EV train him too? Because I've never used him, so he shouldn't have any of the EV points, right? So I should be able to EV train my Mew. Should I do that before I turn him into a Mewtwo or not? I have no clue. You guys, hold my hand and tell me what to do. And, on top of everything, we've also got this Bulldore, which I've probably completely screwed up, but I'm ex- Wow! Ow! 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 <laughs> abort! Abort! Everybody needs to get healed up really quick. So, <laughs> tell me, you guys, what, what should I be doing with my life? Here we go, Boulder, level 28. Uh, what should we do with Boulder? What should we do with Mew? And, 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 yeah, wow! I'm a little bit flustered, I'm sorry about that, but I'm really excited, because that, that was, I love this game. I love Minecraft, I love this mod, it, it plays itself, it like, it just, it makes its own stuff. And, I'm having so much fun with the Life in the Woods thing. I'm trying to see if I can get a better shot with, like, my amazing building in the background, my, my Getty Vilda. Ooh, ooh, wait. Turn around, Mew. Turn around. Turn around, Mew. You know what we do when you don't turn around? Put you away. Get back out. <laughs> He's like, troll, lol, 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 lol. I'm gonna face the other way. Fine. Fine. What a troll. Anyway, that is gonna be it for this episode. Check out my Life in the Woods series if you haven't already checked it out. I'm on it with Badge, Nebris, and Arcus from Minecraft. And... Badge's girlfriend Blue and my friend Olmok who is awesome and you should check it out it's a lot of fun it's like I said it's got these amazing blocks that I'm gonna be building some cool stuff so if you like watching me build stuff it's gonna be awesome if you like watching me die a lot because I'm starving to death it's gonna be fun and you know I just appreciate the support I just would love to see more Minecraft more love from you guys hi Mew you fine turned around and you know I just I just love you guys please say hi Say bye. Okay. Love you. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.